we, sh we struggled to get out. Uh, we struggled to get the full backs forward, but second half, the goal was, was onside. We've had a look at that and he's onside, but you're, you're not getting, when we're down at the foot of the table, you're not getting that sort of look. But second half, I thought we were better. I don't think we had a, a chance second half, but and again, I don't think we created that much to, to trouble the keeper. You can say you had all the possession in the world, but at the end of the day, it's about scoring goals and picking up points. Talk about that disallowed, disallowed goal there. It was a really well-worked move there by Monty and Manny and was a finish in that on the end, but how demoralising is that to have those sort of decisions go against you? Yeah, massively, but you can't dwell on it. You've got to, you've got to get on with it. There's been a few decisions like over the week. We've had, a, like I say, my red card. You could say killed us. The goal killed us. A few sli slices of luck were going against us. But I said that's what happens when you're down there, and it's about, I'd say, creating your own luck and turning it in and kicking on from that. And uh, it's like I said, not dwelling on it. We've got a massive game coming up now away to Notts County next Saturday. What what needs to change? What what do you players need to do out on the pitch for next week to get those three points? I don't think that one's a massive game. I think they're all a massive game. We're coming here today. That's a massive game. They're in and around us, and we've we've given three points. So. I think from now to the end of the season, every single game is a big game and everyone's got to treat it like it's the last game and we, we've got to stay in the league. We see the fans there turning up in numbers and they're going through the worst experience with you all. What can you say to them for the upcoming weeks as, as for their support? I think everyone's disappointed as well as them, but they're the ones who are making the trips week in, week out to support us and they're behind us every step of the way, which is credit to them, you know, but we, like I said, we've got to pick up points and... and want to enjoy it in there and want to keep coming because it's, it's not nice for us it's not, obviously it's not nice for them at the minute Just on your own personal form now I know you won't want to you know, start complimenting and packing, patting yourself on the back but in recent weeks you have been one of the bright sparks, have you felt that your own form's improving, that you've taken a turn for the better so far this season? Yeah I've seen my form's picked up, so like I said but um, you've, got to have, you've got to do that week in week out and it's about, it's about being consistent, you could say that that's down to me not being consistent in weeks before but like I said we've, it's, it's not about your own form it's about the team performance and if your form's good and the team are picking up points then what's the, what's the point do you know what I mean like I said it, everyone's got to pull together and get the points for the, for the team Do you feel there's enough in that change room there to put a result out next week and the upcoming wins to keep the league two status for Port Bell? Yeah massively you saw the goal in midweek against Tranmere what football we can play was his goal today it was off, wasn't offside we, could, we can play football but I think sometimes we, we play it too little too late and we've got we've got to set out on the front foot that first off we couldn't get out so we've got to do that from minute one to minute 90 and it's no use doing it for the odd spell but we know we can do it it's just it's just a matter of doing it on the pitch